Hi folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we're covering the 2017 Minnesota Tournament Trail Championship from here at Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. There's a lot on the line for the guys, including the first place prize of this $40,000 brand new Skeeter Yamaha package, plus a whole bunch of cash up for grabs. We're gonna follow the action, why don't you stay with us? The boats took off this morning out of Borderview Lodge, that's the host facility. Uh, it's right next to the landing, really convenient for the MTT. Now uh, we ran up at the northwest point here and behind us we've got Corey and Dayton and John. They've got a limit of fish already. Those guys are in the lead for the father-son team of the year. And behind them trolling is Dave Ulrich and Sean Detterman. They're actually fishing in the boat they won in the tournament a few years back. Both these guys are on fish here. Well, we moved out of the northwest angle here. Now we moved out into the basin, into Big Traverse Bay. Uh, behind us is Nate Gilkey and Sean Fleming. Came across them. They just caught a, about a 20 and a quarter, a little too big. They got six fish in the box. Now the guys in the tournament, they can keep six fish. It's between 14 and just under 19 and a half. And then they, they can have two fish for the tournament over 28 inches. So that can be two fish on one day over 28 or one each day. Again, a total of six each day coming in for team. We're moving further south in the basin here. We came across uh, Tony O'Connell and Jeff Franta, just a guy that's been fishing for a long time. They're in the neighborhood of where some of these big fish may be. Looks like they're moving and heading upwind for another pass. Behind me is Jack and Carmen Braddock. Uh, we just talked to them. They got six fish in the box out here trolling in the basin. You can see the wind's coming up a little bit. Good example of the team that fishes the MTT. That's one of the nice things too. They do have special awards for male, female team of the year. They have uh, the father, son team of the year. And then Wave Pro sponsors the overall team of the year. And that's worth over $3,500 cash and prizes. We just came across Neil and Luke Petrowski. They were hooked up there. Actually, uh, uh, Luke wasn't doing the best on the net, but he got the fish in the boat anyway. Uh, that fish was about an eighth of an inch too long. I had to let it go, but they do have six in the box. One of the first teams we've come across with a 28 incher in there too, so they're sitting pretty good. Like Luke and Neil, everybody who fishes the Minnesota Tournament Trail Championship has gotten here through fishing a series of qualifiers that are held throughout the state during the season. Uh, they acquire enough points, receive an invitation, that gets them a shot to come in and win that new Skeeter Yamaha. Those guys just experienced the agony defeat. They thought they had a big one. They actually had a fish side hook there. The boat right in front of them though, Larry Cordum and Jason Ness, they just got one over 28. That's the second one over 28 we've seen. Both of them have come out of the basin. We're getting later in the day here. We've got some weather about to move in. We're gonna head to the shore and get ready for weigh-in and we're gonna find out who the day one leader is. <laughs> Got six together. You guys got the lead in the Wave Pro Team of the Year. You think you can hold on for it? I think we got some work to do. We're gonna have to work hard tomorrow. So that's why there's two-day tournaments. That's right. Keep that prop we'll be on. back tomorrow. Yeah. So what do you think changed the fish today? You know, I'm sure it's the the temperature drop, the barometric pressure change, the wind change, the you know the waves change. Everything just changed. With Dwayne Crazy, Dwayne, you fished these fish for a long time up here. Did they change on you today? Uh, not much from pre-fishing. We uh, pretty much seem to stuck to our program, and uh, we got six nice ones. With Brian Nelson, his partner, Scott Hansen, you guys had a big fish, huh? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, been lucky enough to get one today. That doesn't win a tournament on a two-day, but we'll see what we can do tomorrow. For John Trujillo, you got a big one in that bag. Yes, we did. We had some luck today. Yep. Uh, were you cranking or were you uh, live baiting them? Oh, we did everything off of that. We cranked, live bait, pulled some spinners, name it, we tried it. Yep. Think you can get another one tomorrow? I'm hoping so. <laughs> got a big one in the bag, huh? Yeah, we got we got lucky on one of them. Yeah. Saw you out there trolling, you did that the whole time? Yep, all day. Yep. Have any more hooked up that you thought might have crossed? No, that was about it. You had uh, some nice... Uh, keepers out there any big ones uh, no we did have a 27 and three quarter that uh, caught a couple hours ago that was a heartbreaker but we're at the end of day one way in here we're with the current leaders Craig and Kathy Fearbend who caught that big fish Craig Kathy caught it she uh, she did a beautiful job and 
I got it in the net and good thing. Looking forward to hanging on to winter tomorrow? We are. We're going to we're going to do our best. There's a lot of good fishermen here, but we'll we'll see what we can do. Well, folks, stay tuned for day 2 of the MTT Championship and we'll see if Craig and Kathy can get her done.